ancient times. How did people do up their clothes without buttons? At first, they used string. Then it was a knot. Next, they developed the knot button. 我给大家演示一下，我们的布料也先上浆，再裁出盘花的布条。The Chinese knot button really developed during the Ming and Qing dynasties. It wasn't just about doing up clothes. The Chinese knot button design became increasingly sophisticated, from flowers, plants, fish, insects to birds and beasts. They even came in the shape of Chinese characters. Anything you can think of, the craftsman can make it. The Chinese knot button was the final touch. Today, thousands of years later, the Chinese knot button has traversed the globe, shining brilliantly on the world stage. Here. On the bustling streets of Shanghai, they shine like flowers with Chinese beauty. If you want to learn more about the Chinese traditional knots, then join us in Shanghai. We will all be waiting for you. We are.